Every landslide has a distinct anatomy, a set of features that tell its story. At the very top, you have the crown, the area where the material first broke away from the stable ground. It often leaves behind a steep, curved scar on the hillside, known as the main scarp. This is the starting line of the disaster. From there, the material travels down the track or path of the slide. This path is often stripped bare of vegetation, scoured down to the bedrock by the immense force of the moving debris. It's a clear and brutal trail, showing exactly where the landslide has been. It's like a wound on the face of the mountain, a raw and exposed gash. The main body of the landslide is the mass of material itself. It can be a jumble of rock, soil, trees, and anything else it picked up along the way. Depending on the type of slide, this material can be relatively intact, or it can be a chaotic, churning mess. At the very bottom, the landslide comes to rest, forming the toe or zone of accumulation. This is where all the debris piles up. This pile can be enormous, creating a natural dam if it blocks a river, or burying everything in its path. Understanding these parts helps scientists and rescue teams figure out how big the slide was, where it came from, and what might happen next. But what pulls the trigger? What turns a stable slope into a destructive force? The most common trigger by far is water, intense rainfall, rapid snowmelt, or a sudden rise in groundwater levels can saturate the soil. Think of it like a sponge. A dry sponge is light and holds its shape, but a soaked sponge is heavy and weak. When soil gets saturated, the water fills the tiny spaces between the particles. This increases the weight of the entire slope and reduces the friction that holds the soil grains together. It's a deadly combination that can push a slope past its breaking point, causing it to fail catastrophically. Other natural triggers can be just as devastating. Earthquakes are a major culprit. The intense shaking from a tremor can literally jiggle the ground loose, triggering thousands of landslides in a matter of seconds. We see this time and time again in mountainous, seismically active regions. Volcanic eruptions can also set off massive slides. The heat can melt snow and ice, creating fast-moving mud flows called lahars. And sometimes, it's simply the slow, relentless process of erosion. Rivers undercutting the base of a slope or waves battering a coastal cliff can gradually weaken the land until it can no longer support its own weight. It's a constant battle between stability and gravity,